For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got some explosive passing plays for you guys today out of my New Orleans Saints ebook. If you guys don't know, I just put out a full breakdown of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, one of the most heavily requested offensive playbooks every year for me. I've been doing the Saints pretty heavy for the last couple months. It's been one of the meta playbooks pretty much every year. And this year's no different. There's some really great passing plays in this playbook. Great running plays as well. This is going to be part two of a full offensive scheme. I'll have a link in the description for the run plays, which I put out uh, yesterday, most likely. But uh, this is going to be the pass plays. This is going to be the fun stuff. These plays here work on current gen and next gen i will show the differences in this video i'll have links in the description so you guys can skip forward to current gen if you're on current gen or whatever you whatever you're on Woo! if you guys want to see more plays out of the saints offense hit the like button and let me know in the comment section the formation itself is the wing stack and the two plays i'm going to show i'm going to put them in my audibles i'll get rid of these run plays the flanker spot which like i said it's very glitchy you won't play touchdown against current gen or next gen uh, defenses. Then I'll also put in the second play, which is going to be the PA Fork, which this play is a Swiss Army knife. You can home run and you know create very big plays against a lot of different defenses with this play as well. Now we're going to start off with the PA Fork because this is probably the most explosive and most versatile. Uh, we're going to pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to match uh, with cover two. We're going to start off with Tampa two and work our way back like we always do. Now before we get this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Links in the description below and your discount code money to get 3% off what's always the cheapest coins on the market. Now this is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. Uh, cover two is probably the most surprising because you would think that based off of this play that the safety would pick it up but they don't all you have to do put the b route on a streak and that's going to make this a very glitchy play against a lot of different defenses now you're going to see here i got to roll out a little bit but this x route here is just going to get right over the top of the safety this is a easy 50 yard 60 yard bomb that i could complete against just about any uh, anywhere on the field let's go to the replay to see what happens the reason this play works is because there's no receivers on the right side here the only receiver on the right side here is this tight end the way that's that madden typically works is they typically split the field in half the safeties especially where this guy will be responsible for the deep half over here and then this safety will be responsible for the, his deep half but since there's no receivers he has to react to the only receiver on the side and that's this check and release crossing tight end so you can see right here as this tight end comes across so does the safety you can see he's kind of mirroring that look and you know that's basically what gets him caught as you can see right here once this guy crosses the midfield mark he's way out of position and we're getting a very easy one play touchdown over the top this is something that's going to be uh, consistent whether you're running this against cover three cover four doesn't matter it's going to be the exact same look where this guy's going to be the home run one play touchdown so we'll go ahead and run that again we got tyron matthew lit up just to show that it will not make a difference there's a couple of adjustments you can make on this play as well number one you can take the running back away he doesn't really do anything and against cover two you can run it as is you could leave that B route for a possible check down, although it doesn't really help to be honest with you. But that's something that you can do if you need to. This play works regardless without that streak or with that streak, but it's just best to have it on a streak based off the fact that you need that streak and all the other variations. So if you think it's a cover two and you guess wrong, then obviously it would have been better just to streak it so the play still works. So that's pretty much all you have to do. You just got to buy a little bit of time. They said Tyron Matthew lit up, doesn't matter. It's still a very easy one play touchdown as he just runs right past him for an easy score from just about anywhere on the field. So really good play against cover two. How about cover three? 
Um, I don't think this is the best cover three one play touchdown I'm going to show today, but it's still a really good one. So we'll pick cover three sky. So exact same setup. All you have to do is put this B around the street. The only real difference is you probably want to run it from a hash mark. You don't have to, but it definitely helps to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field. You uh, you also have this, I mean, against cover three, you got this check down here too, by the way. Cover three, cover four. Not going to work too great from the hash mark, obviously. You can see I run out of bounds, but that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind. As far as this play goes, though, the RB route is going to create the same issue for that cornerback that he did for the safety where now the cornerback is going to react to basically nothing and follow that guy across which is going to make this a very easy one play touchdown for me on the other side of the field now you can see right here might have to move the ball back a little bit as you can see we barely got into the end zone here uh, but you can see i mean i don't know maybe he didn't catch it so we are going to move the ball back so i'm going to go and do this one more time this is a 60 yard bomb man you're going to need to uh to be you know you're going to want to roll out shorten this throw and you're going to want to run this from the uh, the open side of the field and give yourself as much space as possible when it comes to running this play as you can see right there we, we get that one play touchdown play also beats cover four and when i say cover four i mean cover four drop contain uh beats it very differently than most cover four one play touchdowns so we're going to pick that next so same setup just hit that streak that's all you really have to do i cancel my play action i got my you know my check down there but uh, you just basically have to wait for him to get to a point where he's he's even with uh, with Tyre Matthew. And then I didn't really get the best throw there, but you can see he just still gets inside for a very easy one-play touchdown. I'm not exactly sure why um, the safety reacts the way that he does, but he he almost acts like he's still chasing that streak. I mean, he's not. He could have easily mirrored this guy a lot better. That's why you basically wait till he basically gets to this point where he's even with the safety. Because at this point, I'm sprinting. He has to turn, and that's where the acceleration uh, boost comes from that I get to basically give myself uh, the advantage to go and track this ball. I do that one more time. We're running it from the short side this time. I feel that that helps when it comes to this receiver getting across. Uh, and I also feel that it helps with him getting the separation. So just remember, the cover three one-play touchdown is best to run from the open side of the field. The cover four is best to run from the shallow side. This play is also very good against man coverage, but we're going to focus on man cover one uh, because this is obviously going to be one of the best plays when it comes to scoring a one-play touchdown. Now, I find that this play has some really good man beaters like the tight end and the B route especially. This B route here is a very good man beater. As you can see, it's going to get outside of that pretty much every single time against any man coverage. But why would I go there when I could just hit a home run? So let's go and let's do that exact same setup. Nothing really changes. Uh, the tight end's a decent check down too, but you can see right here, this X route is just gone again uh, against another different coverage. So we've home run just about every single defense in the game with this exact same route. And cover two man is no different. Exact same play, exact same setup. We are now going to home run cover two man as well. Exact same play, just streak this B route, although realistically you don't have to. It's just like cover two zone. You don't have to follow. You don't have to do that. You can basically just leave him on that out route check down. And then this X route here is just going to get behind him once again. As you can see, we're just getting over the top of the cover two safety because of the same principles that we applied before. So to recap, the PA fork, we've home run just about every single defense in the game. Cover two zone cover three zone cover four zone uh man coverages every man coverage in the game has been a home run we haven't done cover four quarters so let's go and let's do that let's find ourselves a cover four quarters slash cover four palms let's see if it has the exact same result no adjustments needed this time and this play is a natural cover four quarters one play touchdown cover four match one play touchdown to the exact same route by a mile as you can see we basically just hit a one play touchdown against everything so next up we got the flanker spot this is a very glitchy play as well uh, very glitchy play against cover three so pick cover three sky it's another one of those plays where you really have to run it from a hash mark if i can get this to work again i don't know since the patch happened for whatever reason that doesn't work very well but all you have to do is put the x route on the streak and put the a route on the streak and that's it although you have to motion this guy out that's the one thing i'm gonna block my running back this is pretty much the look uh, this is going to be an easy one play touchdown to that x route up the cover three seam uh, we go and there we got caught uh, but you know it's whatever I, i'll go and I'll run that again maybe i threw that ball a little bit off timing uh, but yeah, this is the play. You just got to streak these two guys. I blocked my running back. Um, the A route since the patch, I noticed, has a slightly weird altered uh, angle. And that might be part of the reason that that uh, has that issue where the um, it's just not as quick. But you can see we're, we're going to still get this, this play over the top. So very easy one play touchdown. But what makes this play special, I mean, it's a one play touchdown against cover three. But it's also a very big play in old gen consoles or current gen consoles. So now we're back on current gen. We're going to have the uh, this exact same play, the flanker spot, although this play here is probably the easiest one play touchdown against cover three when it comes to current gen. 
in the entire game. So this offense here, got to be the easiest one play touchdown against cover three in current gen console. So all you got to do is streak the X route, streak the A route. I'm going to block my running back for additional blocking, but that's all you got to do. You got to run it from a hash mark. Uh, that's the most important part. If you don't run from a hash mark, you won't get the separation. But on this particular play, you don't even have to worry about pass leading. That's been one of the biggest issues is you typically can't pass lead. But you can see how big of a separation gap we get. And it's all because of what this, uh, this, this corner route is doing over the X route. Now, we'll go to the replay. Uh, real quick. Like I said, this corner route here is what pulls that that cornerback across. This is a concept I've used in a lot of different plays that I put out, uh, especially in my ebook, where typically you don't have this corner route, and that's the reason that this, this works so much better. You typically just have this receiver running by himself. A couple of things you have to know before you run this play. Like I said, you got to run from a hash mark, but number two is you typically have to wait for this receiver to cross what I call the 31-yard mark, which is 31 yards away from the quarterback. The ball still has to be in the quarterback's hands when this guy crosses this area right here which is i'm at the 50 so i have to basically wait for him to cross the 19 or the the 20. not 100 sure what the exact amount is but for whatever reason ea blocked out the ability to pass lead between the 20 to 30 yards away from the quarterback uh, i think it's because of this channel if you want to know the truth about it. i think it's because of place like this but i have no real evidence to support that so you can see right here going back to lamar jackson like i said it's very close i'm throwing that ball right at about the 30 yard mark the ball is still in the quarterback's hands he's crossing the 30 yard mark and that's when it allows me to get pass leading back so at that point he's basically pass lead away from this free safety you know to the left and you can see i have a good five to ten yards of separation between the cornerback and the safety but what makes this play so good is you can mess that up and you can still have success as i as i accidentally uh sent my my, my running back on the street you can mess that up you don't even have to get that pass lead because of that corner route that pass lead is irrelevant you can mess up the pass lead and you're still gonna get that one play touchdown because of the crossing route keeping the safety at home so this is one like i said this is the best play because you don't even have to really time it because of what the rb route is doing he basically keeps that safety at home and because what that b route is doing he pulls that cornerback away prematurely giving you the easiest one play touchdown of the game like i said i don't even really have to get that pass lead right I th i'm throwing it early on purpose and you're seeing i'm still getting five yards of separation so for all the people on current gen that are having this issue with cover three with pass leading this solves all of it so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense in a future video i typically like to try to put these full breakdown offenses out on like saturday and stuff like that because people are typically home they have more time to watch longer videos uh, i can do that or if you just want to see more saints hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.